Hi everybody, so in this video I wanted to show you how you could um, make dynamic event loot, that's the weapons and gear that spawns in on helicopter crashes, make it spawn in the rest of the map instead. Um, maybe you're running a small pop server or um, you just want people have to have the uh, opportunity of finding cool weapons, you know, like the VSS rather more easily than finding a helicopter crash. I mean you could increase the number of helicopter crashes and stuff like that but we're going to specifically be looking at uh, changing something like the VSS to a helicopter crash only um, loot item to one that will spawn in normal military locations. So as you know by now almost anything to do with spawning in items in terms of quantity or where they spawn is, to, is on your types.xml file from your private server so you want to head on over to your server you want to find go into the file browser this is Nitrado go into the missions folder um, and just remember it's uh, Chernerus Plus for Chernerus and uh, Enoch for Livonia and then within here you're looking for the DB folder there it is and within here you're looking for the types.xml file so you want to download that make a backup and then open it in your favorite text editing program in this case we're using notepad plus plus so what we can do if you if you look at say let's look at this first um, listing here for the ACOG optic what we're interested in here is these flags down here so we've got counting cargo counting hoarder counting map so the game only ever counts these when they're on the map and then at the end we've got DE loot equals zero so dynamic event loot equals zero so this means does this item spawn in at a dynamic event which would be a helicopter crash it's a zero so it's not so the key to finding all the dynamic event loot easily is just to copy that and then do a control F and type in dynamic event loot and then change that to one we go find next so there we go so straight away let's, let's just get rid of that we've got the asphalt so you can see the asphalt there's only three of them are allowed at any one time anyway they're counted on the map they're counted in players as well so once a player's pick them up unless he puts them in his hoard that they're still going to be counted and it's a dynamic event loot weapon so if we change that to zero that will now spawn in normal locations however one of the things I probably recommend you do is with items like the asphalt. You, you want to increase the nominal anyway, don't you? So let's increase the nominal to 10. Let's increase the minimum to 8. But you still want them, I think, you still want them in to, to be in reasonably um, difficult places to get to. So I would suggest you always add a tier value on as well. So what we'll do is if we add a tier value in... So what we've got, um, uh, category name is weapons, usage name is military, so it's going to be found in military locations, and its value name is tier 3 and tier 4. So it will only be found in Chernus, for example, in the top left-hand corner, middle to top left-hand corner of the map, so places around Tizzy, Northwest Airfield, that sort of thing. Um, because you could argue that with an item that's only got 10, um, 10 of them that are going to be on the server at any one time, the problem is that if it's spread over all the military locations, it's going to become really difficult to find. At least this case, there's there's going to be only 10 of a max, and they're going to be in the northwest somewhere. The other thing I would do is I would change count in player to zero. So it's only ever counted on the map. So as soon as people pick one up, the game has the ability to spawn one in. So do control F, D E loot equals one, find next. There we go. So there we've got the airborne mask, which is a cool. That's that's the the, the cool. I think that's the cool looking mask. Anyway, so there we've got dynamic event loot equals one. So let's change that to zero, and let's add in. Tier three and tier four. Make them line up. Let's increase the nominal to 10, the minimum to 8. Now you may well be saying, well, wait a minute Rob, why don't you just do a find and replace on all of the dynamic event loot? So you could do a find and replace on DE loot equals 0, uh, DE loot equals 1 and change it into to 0, so they would then spawn in. 
we could do that but the problem then is that we wouldn't be adding in our tier 3 and tier 4 locations to push this stuff up into the northwest part of Chernarus or the south southern bit of um, Livonia and also you may well want to leave certain things still on the helicopter crashes um, I think the helicopter crashes are really cool things it's a really cool event that happens when you come across one you're like oh wow it's a helicopter crash um, or you might want to put different stuff on the on the helicopter crash you know you might want to there's also you know you might want to have like m4s on the only on the helicopter crashes and have ka's uh, scattered around the map i think there's a strong argument i think for that of having well look the majority of the forces that were fighting in chernarus uh, and livonia were probably had had russian equipment you know eastern european equipment so they would have been loads of sks's loads of ak's or ka's loads of dragon offs that sort of stuff um but there wouldn't have probably been that many m4 a1s hanging around um so maybe just have m4 a1s on on helicopter crashes um and then you carry on doing that so then we just do control f again the ammo box i always felt that was a bit odd that it was only on a helicopter crash so you would change that you know containers military maybe that is one you could you could whack the value up a lot, you know, go up to 20, go up to 30, change the minimum up to 20, and you could have it spawning at all military locations. The FAL, there we go. So probably one of the rifles that, or the, the um, well, probably one of the rifles that most people really want to have a go at to see how see how good it is, the, 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 the FAL or the uh, the LA, as it, as it um, is called in game. <laughs> you know, you, so you would change that, but event loop to zero, counting player to zero leave counting map to one and use his name military and again paste in the idea of value name equals tier three value name equals tier four so again it would spawn up to the top uh top left or the you know the northwestern part of the map on chernus there we go so that's how you do it so, so just keep going through um ghillie suits they're a good one um you know have them spawn at other places so people can have the opportunity of, of having a go at them and while you're there you know you may want to play around with the ghillie suits that don't spawn in but that is for another video so there we go hopefully that's nice and easy hopefully that shows you how to make dynamic event helicopter crash items spawn in in normal military locations rather than at helicopter crashes so that more of your players on your servers can have opportunities to play with these really cool really cool weapons um and uh, and gadgets and gear anyway that's enough of me if you've enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and um oh did wait a minute did i tell you what to do at the end i don't think i did did i so anyway <laughs> When you're done with your types.xml, save it, go back to your um, Nitrado server or your server and upload the types.xml over the top of the uh, old one, restart the server, and those things will start to spawn in again, all that lovely stuff. Gosh, I can't believe I left that bit off. I'm getting old. There you go. So hit like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to see more of the same, and I will see you again soon.